Welcome, Virgo. Welcome to your love, career, and self-improvement reading. Thank you for being here. For my subscribers, thank you for coming back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For my new subscribers, uh, I mean, for my new people, thank you for coming. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for showing up. If you do like the content, please do subscribe, okay, and like the video. Okay, so we're going to get some overall cards for your love and then for your career. Keep in mind, Virgo, we have shuffled, I have shuffled this cards already, okay? This is for your career and for your self-improvement overall card. We have hope. Okay, so let's pull some tarot here. First off, we have love cards, okay, and... Let's get some tarot cards. Okay, so we have Knight of Swords when it comes to love. And we got some the Seven of Swords when it comes to love. But we will pull one more card when it comes to love for clarity at the end. For career, we have Five of Swords. And then we have Eight of Wands. Okay, we will pull one more card for career when we're done. All right, for personal development here we have um the devil here and we have the ace of pentacles okay so let's see where we are going we will pull one more card for clarification okay so we have the love cards so something is um in someone's in love okay you might get in some love uh notes coming back and forth okay um, right now we have the Knight of Swords. So Virgo, there is some fast energy here in your love life, okay? And with this Knight, this Knight is a fast um, moving um, energy, okay? And this energy is a fast talking person that might be around you or this could be you, okay? But it's also a lifestyle change card, okay? But this this is a night that's very fast, so things come in very fast, okay? We also have this Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is a funny, tricky card here, okay? Because it's all about confidence in knowing if you're being deceived or not okay someone is being um betraying or being dishonest okay or if you're running away or it could mean that you're taking something back which was taken from you okay and you have to think strategically on what is going on in order to um, stay confident in the relationship that you're in. So it could be a tricky card. You just have to take it on what is going on in, in your life, okay? Like these readings are collective readings, so you have to take what works with you. But we're going to clarify one more card when it comes to that, okay? For your career, this is your career card. It says, nothing remarkable in our personal growth can be achieved without opening to love and unleashing its joyful fire into the world. Okay. So, so you got to be open to, to love to achieve things, okay, and unleash um, joy, joyful um, energy into your world, okay? So you have to be fast and you have to have fiery energy in order to, you know, um, grow personally when it comes to, it has to be a joyful fire, like a nice flow of energy, okay, going into your world here in your middle card, okay, but you do have the five of swords, and the five of swords at work, that's just saying that, um, you know, it's like a lot going on, you might have some bullying, you might have some leadership that's not doing the right thing, um, people talking about each other, just arguments, conflicts, you know, all kinds of things could be going on at work here okay for you you also have the eight of wands okay so there's something coming in quick um that's going to involve you to move okay some type of not move but movement like your own movement um uh or traveling or something like that okay for work or something like that but it's good news usually and it's just good communication that's coming in real fast okay so that's in your energy as well virgo okay and we're going to clarify that when it comes to personal development, Virgo, you have hope, 
okay with this uh butterfly here this beautiful butterfly which usually means transformation but you have this devil energy here and maybe we need to look at this devil energy here now the devil is about materialism you know addiction maybe we're addicted to something or maybe something has some type of bondage maybe we're doing so much of one thing or it could even be um you or someone else being kind of jealous or someone envious of you um the devil just has so many different um meanings to it but is it's an energy that we have to pay attention to because it is a major card and um it's just something that you want to be aware of some type of bondage or something that we're obsessed over or you know some type of envy or jealousy or something okay and we also have some type of new offer, a new beginning when it comes to um, Virgo, because you have this Ace of Pentacles. So it's something new, okay, in your life. Um, it could be a new job that's coming forward in your life. It could be, you know, a promotion or moving to a next level in your life, or you could be advancing in a relationship. Um, but usually it involves money, but it can be anything. And we're going to clarify that energy as well, Virgo. All right, Virgo love confirmation here. We have um, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so your final card in this love, strategically thinking the wheel is turning. Okay, and the wheel is all about, you know, one time we might be up you know, the one time we might be down, but usually it's good luck. It's destined opportunities. It's um, about um, the cycling of things, change in your life. Um, it also means, you know, um, good fortune and luck. Okay, it also could mean gambling. Okay, but it's usually a completion of a cycle. Okay, so you have to take that in um, the way you think about it, uh, Virgo. Okay, final card for career. So final card for career, um, you are working with people, um, you're collaborating with people, um, you might be getting some type of money, um, you know, some type of, you know, some type of celebrations are coming on. So this information that's coming in, maybe you're getting a bonus or something like that, some type of, um, and then you're working well with a certain group of people. Maybe it's just a couple people because you still have this conflict in your leadership and things of that nature, but you could just be having just a couple of people that you're working well with and you're being happy with, okay? All right, when it comes to yourself, we have your last card here, Two of Cups. Okay, so partnerships are favored, okay? So with this hope card here as your overall card, I'm thinking that maybe, you know, this two of cups is all about you and yourself, okay? Of loving yourself and um, whatever bondage or thoughts that um, pertaining to your heart, pertaining to your feelings, um, we need to rid of this devil energy because the devil energy, you can get out of it so simply. You just have to change your thinking and... Um, you know, get out of that energy and things will come forward for you. But the Two of Cups is definitely um, a real good partnership. It's also meaning um, some type of romance or romantic love, proposal, marriage, but it's a good relationship um, if it's in your life. You know, it could be love or it also can be just you and yourself, okay? But since it's personal, you know, you take it as what's going on in your life right now, okay? Because this is your love and this is your personal relationship. Okay, overall card for the reading for Virgo. Take each day as it comes. Okay, don't let nothing deceive you with this devil energy, Virgo. Um, don't let anything kind of like take bondage over your mind. Um, you are already very prudent, very, you know, analytical, and you're very smart and methodical, but you could also be self-critical. So just think of the good things that you are about and keep moving forward, Virgo. I really thank you for being here, Virgo. Please like the video. Um, it really helps me know if I'm resonating with you all. If something in this reading, if one thing resonates with you, if you could like it, that would be appreciative. At least I have some idea that my readings are helping people and that my energy is not um, being wasted. All right. I thank you so much for being here, Virgo. I hope to see you back. Take care. Bye.